As a brief glance at the three sentences on the screen here will tell you, Dutch, Afrikaans and Frisian are very similar, and because of this it's often quite hard to tell them apart when you see them written down, especially for non-native speakers. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you a few little tips to help you understand which one's which when they are written down, so that you will confidently be able to tell me at the end of this video which of these three sentences is in Dutch, which in Frisian and which in Afrikaans. Now, first of all, we're going to move on to the things that we need to look out for in Dutch. So, in Dutch, we have this, which is called the lange A, and it's pronounced A. Um, in its, for example, it's in ye, which means you, and obviously, you is in a lot of uh, is used in a lot of different contexts. So, this is a word that comes up a lot, and this is unique to Dutch. So, if you see this I J, then you know that this is in Dutch if it looks like a Germanic language. Now we have the Z at the start of words. So, for example, Z in Dutch, which means C. Um, this is different from Afrikaans and Frisian, which prefers to use an S at the start of these words. And finally, we have het, which is a form of the. Now, both in Frisian and Afrikaans, they have different words for het. Now, the other word in Dutch for um, the is de, but these are both used in Afrikaans and Frisian, which is why I haven't included it here. Now, remember this because you will be tested on this at the end. Now, we're going to move on to some things to look out for in Frisian. Now, in Frisian, we have these forms of you and your, which is do, dai, and din. Um, and this is this is purely in Frisian out of these three languages. Uh, it's a bit more like German if you know du, um, for example. So, th that's something that might trip you up, but then we're only looking at these three languages and German's quite easy to tell apart because it's got all the funny letters and weird words. Now as well, we're going to look out for these accents. Now it's important to note that Frisian has more accents than these, but these two are unique to Frisian out of these three languages. So if you're looking at a language that looks like it could be a West Germanic one, and you see this A or the O with the roof on, then you know straight away that this is Frisian because the other two don't use these accents. And finally, we're going to talk about it, which is um, a form of the. Now, you can probably tell that this is quite similar to het, which is the Dutch version of it because they are related languages, but this one is it, and um, this is only in Frisian. So when you see it before quite a lot of words, then you know that it's probably going to be Frisian because it's saying the and then whatever it's describing. Now, finally, we're going to have a look at Afrikaans. Now, in Afrikaans, ek means I, and it's different to both Dutch and Frisian, which both use ik for I, more like the German ich. Um, so if you see ek, which obviously is going to be used a lot, because a lot of the time when you're talking, you're talking about I, then you know it's Afrikaans, because this is the only language with ek meaning I. Now as well, we have words that end in C. So for example, uh, nasi, which is here, uh, which means nation. In Dutch, it would end with a T-I-E. So you know that if you're seeing a word which ends in an S-I-E, then it's more likely to be Afrikaans. Now, like with the Frisian, these three accents are completely unique to Afrikaans. So they're not used in Dutch or Frisian. So if you see these three accents or one of these three accents used, then the language you are seeing is Afrikaans. Now, finally, we have the double negation for saying something is not. So if you know a bit of French, then you'll know that you use ne and then the verb and then pas. And it's exactly the same in Afrikaans. So is ni lekker ni means it's not nice. Um, so you use these two and you can tell um, this, is quite, this is a dead obvious giveaway because it's the only language uh, out of these three that uses this double negation with ni and ni. I hope you've been paying attention because it's about to pay off if you have. It's quiz time, folks. So there are going to be six questions. Just remember which answer you give for each one, whether the language shown in the little sentence in the middle is Frisian, Dutch or Afrikaans and comment how many you got right at the end. Good luck.
So, how many did you get right? Did you guess which one was which? Did you get the right Germanic language? Let me know in the comment section below. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. It's it's something else. It's not history related as such. It's more languages to uh, let you all know, you know, which language is which in the West Germanic tree out of these three, which, you know, they in all fairness, they do look very similar. But I hope with these tips and tricks, you can all say to your friends, you know, ah, oh, this one's Frisian or now it's easy, mate. It's got an ek in it. That must be Afrikaans. All right, so please do let me know how you got on in this quiz and let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and would like to see more. As well as this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe if you want to see things like this on the channel in future and if you generally want to have a look at my other videos and stay posted whenever I upload videos. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. This has been History with Hilbert with some languages. See you all soon. But before I go, I need to say thank you to Esther for her help with Frisian and to my South African friend for helping me with the Afrikaans, making sure that I don't make an absolute mess of their, of their language while I'm making a video about it. I'm really going this time, guys, so I hope to see you soon.